Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary, Maury Amsterdam, Larry Matthews, and Mary Tyler Moore. Lake Pompous Lodge. Sorry, we're all full up. Oh, boy. Some fancy hotel. They make you carry your own luggage. This isn't a hotel. You always carry your luggage at a fishing lodge. This is a retreat. Yeah? I'd like to retreat right back to New York. <laughs> Sally, you're just not an outdoor girl. Oh, are you joshing? I'm a charter member of the Girl Scouts. Got any cookies? I'm starved. <laughs> we have uh, Alan Brady's room, please. Well, you guys quit complaining. This is a free weekend in the mountains. Who's complaining? You and Sally. I just want to see if you're paying attention. Hello, Alan. Oh, it's Mal. Mal, hey, that's a thrill. <laughs> well, we're all here. Okay. Good, good. He's on his way down. Well, okay. I sure hope Alan doesn't want us to work tonight. I'm beat. Well, may I help you? Yes, we're Alan Brady's party. Uh, Mr. Brady and Mr. Cooley have already checked in. Yes, well, I'm uh, Mr. Petrie. We're his writers. Yes. Well, you have a reservation for us. I do? It's supposed to be three rooms. Uh, one for Mr. and Mrs. Petrie, one for Mrs. Sorella, and one for Miss Rogers. Sorry, I've got nothing here. Uh, well, uh, Mel Cooley said he'd make the reservations for us. Nobody made no reservations. All right, folks, welcome to a rerun of The Lost Weekend. And it's cold feature, no room at the top. <laughs> Look, there must be some mistake. No mistake. There are no reservations for any of you people. And no rooms available. Look, are you sure they're not maybe under Mr. Brady's name or nope. Mr. Cooley? Sorry. Well, sissy, move over. Your ma's tired. Yeah, your dad is good looking, but we're still not gonna get her. <laughs> Boy, I can get you Mel's dulcet tones. Rob, Sally, Buddy, Alan has an idea for a new TV series, and he wants you to work on it. Now, you'll all come up and be his guests. Everything is on Alan. Yeah, including an old Egyptian curse I just remembered. Alan <laughs> well, will take care of it somehow. Y'all checked in? Why don't you check out? <laughs> Well, what's wrong, gang? Well, the man says there are no rooms for us. He says there's no what? There are no reservations, no rooms. Well, that's impossible. That's what we've been telling him. Look, Mr. Cooley called and made reservations, right, Mel? That's right. I... <laughs> the hairless phantom strikes again. <laughs> Oh, you mean you didn't make any reservations? Well, Rob, when, I, when we were in New York, I, I well, we didn't know how many there were going to be, and then I got up here and I meant to, and then, well, well, Alan had a, one of those terrible, are you sure there are no rooms? <laughs> now take faucets. How could you make a mistake like that? Well, Easy, it's heredity. Look at a mistake his parents made. <laughs> Now, now, look, uh, we'll work things out. Oh, Mel, I do hope you can, because we have driven five hours in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. Yeah, just think, I could be home now, having a good time complaining about having no place to go. <laughs> now, Rob and I'll work things out. Look, why don't you girls go and have dinner? Oh, and take it with you. <laughs> Rob, I, I just feel awful. Don't feel so bad, Mel. You finally accomplished a great feat. You got everybody hating you at the same time. <laughs> Attack! Uh, well, I think I know how to handle this. Uh, uh, Mr. Little? Yes? Are you sure you can't find something for Mr. Brady's party? Sorry, we're all full up. Mm -hmm. Are you, uh, still full up? Well, there is a cabin down by the lake, but ordinarily we don't rent it out. Uh, do you think you could make an exception? Well, I don't know. Uh... You don't know? Uh... Well, it's rather small, and it's been vacant for three years. Uh, one bedroom and fold-away couch in the living room. Well, that's all right, buddy, and I can sleep in the couch. Uh, there is, however, another problem. Uh, will this uh, take care of the other problem? Mm, I don't think so. You see, the cabin is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you? Nope, the cabin is haunted. Well, what do you mean haunted? You mean ghosts and chains and... <laughs> and all that stuff? Joke if you want to, but nobody has slept a full night in that cabin in three years. I, I understand that the Catskill Mountains have the legends of weird legends they're famous for, but I'm afraid I don't believe in ghosts. Well, if you want the cabin, fine. I just felt I had to warn you. Well, what, what makes you think it's haunted? Uh, three years ago, a man by the name of Amos Shantz used to come up here fishing. 
Went to bed one night, the next morning, gone. Folks say he was murdered for his money, but they never found it or him. <laughs> oh, well, Rob, you don't believe in ghosts. No, I mean, I wouldn't want to make the girls nervous, though. <laughs> well, are you going to take the cabin or not? Uh, well, yeah, okay. But well, listen, don't tell the ladies what you told me. Don't tell them what? Oh, buddy, look, we've got a cabin for the night. Oh, you don't want to tell the girls? No. <laughs> I just don't want to frighten him, that's all. What's the matter? Well, the guy says there's a local legend about the cabin being haunted. I agree. You shouldn't tell the girls. Where are you going? Back to New York. And don't forget, don't tell the girls. You'll frighten them. Oh, buddy, come back here. Hey, this is nice. Yeah, what time do we feed the walls? <laughs> And furry. And rusty. <laughs> Look, before we fall in love with this place, what do you say? We check them what we're going to sleep on, huh? The so, Wobbit, the bedroom's over here. Do you, you know, suppose it has a beautiful uh, lake? That's right. I'll go help Buddy with the rest of the, of the uh, stuff. Buddy, get out of the car and come in here. I'm going to stay here and sleep in the back seat. Oh, yeah, alone? <laughs> Rob. Rob. Oh, there you are. Hey. Well, where are the girls? Somebody stole the girls. <laughs> what? They're in the bed. Oh. Well, everything worked out all right? Oh, good, Mel. Now, uh, Alan would like to meet you in the morning, so we'll send a jeep for you at 8 o'clock. Fine. Fine, Mel. Good night. Good night. Buddy, you didn't bring the other stuff in. Yeah. Will you go get it, please? Would you go with me? <laughs> Why not? I'll get it myself. Can, can I go with you? All right. <laughs> Be my guest. Green the firewood. Oh, well, that, that's nice. I, I'm sorry I yelled. I didn't know you were here. I didn't know you was here. You did, if you didn't know we were here, why are you bringing firewood? I always bring the firewood at the... Uh, huh? Nine o'clock. You always bring firewood at nine o'clock? Yeah. Well, uh, <clears throat> for whom? I mean, this place has been vacant. Yeah, for three years. That's right. Nobody's lived here for three years. <laughs> Sleep well. <laughs> Did you hear that? What do you mean that? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He said he's been bringing firewood here for three years. Yeah. Oh, you know, there's probably, there should be a three-year supply of firewood around here somewhere. Yeah, well, where is it? Where, where? That's the thing. It's not here. Somebody's been burning it. The ghost, that's who. Either that or that guy. He's a ghost? No, but he could be doing something illegal and doing everything to scare people away from him. Oh, he's doing a darn good job. Oh, no, but it is always some logical explanation for a ghostly happening. Rob, it's Rob being the guy for the Yeah. Cozy. <laughs> Will you stop back like Luke Costello over there and give me a hand with this bed? Hey, hey, the door's locked. It's locked. Yes, you know why? There's a monster in there. <laughs> oh, pretty funny. Pretty funny as possible, you know. Oh, buddy, you probably got it locked because it's a storeroom. They don't want anybody in there. They, they, who's they? Oh, boy. <gasps> ah! <What? laughs> Get my makeup case. Well, what's scary about a makeup case? Nothing. Well, honey, how's the, how's your bed? Oh, it's fine, except Sally says she snores. Oh. Ah! Oh! <laughs> what's yeah. with you? Sally, Sally, we, we've been working together five years. I never knew you looked like that. Like what? Like my wife. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You know, I was beginning to get a little worried about you, buddy. You haven't insulted anybody all evening. I thought maybe there's something wrong with you. There is. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I mean, I mean, there, there was. And I needed something to, to snap me out of it. Thanks for the snapping out. <laughs> well, good night, everybody. Night. Well. Oh, and Buddy, Rob kicks the covers off during the night. So? Well, so if you don't recover him, he sneezes. I'll say because it's height. No, no, don't do that, because then he'll wake up and start talking to you. <laughs> Sal, mm -hmm. if she steals your pillow away from you, just take it back. She won't mind. All right. Oh, and Buddy, if he talks in his sleep, just give him a little shot. <laughs> you know, these two are more active when they're asleep than when they're awake. <laughs> well, come on, I'll walk you home. Hey, would you? Yeah. Oh, gee, Rob, will I see you tomorrow? 
I certainly hope so. <laughs> Good night, honey. Good night, Sal. Good night, pal. <laughs> well, here's the story of my life. Come on, let's get some sleep. You You're not kidding, boy. You can be a nervous wreck around this joint. Oh, boy. I'm tired. I just want to get those eyes closed, that's all. Are you, uh, gonna go to bed with your shoes on? You know I can't run on my bare feet. <laughs> Buddy, we've been here all evening and not one strange thing has happened. Oh, no? How about that fireplace? I told you it's probably a live ember buried in the coals. Yeah, or a dead body buried under the floor. <laughs> oh, boy. Turn off the light, will you? Are you kidding? We can't sleep with the light on. Well, I can't sleep with it off. Quiet out loud. Good night. Boy, I sure wish I had my teddy bear. <laughs> Buddy, will you turn the light off, please? I didn't turn it on. I suppose it went all by itself then, huh? If you didn't turn it on, it went on by itself. Or, well, it's probably a logical explanation for that. Yeah, like a live ember and a dead bulb? <laughs> oh, of course. I didn't have it all the way off, that's all. It was, look, very simple. Off. On. Off. <laughs> on. Bob, somebody don't want those lights off. Look, if you don't want them off, leave them on. Quiet, I don't want to frighten the girl. Well, what about me? Me? Probably just the wind, buddy. The wind blew the door open and made the chair rock. That's all. Uh, well, what made the rocker stop rocking? Uh, you know, I, the, the ghost got up and left. All right. There's a logical explanation somewhere. Change of wind, change of wind or something. Suction of the wind or something. Yeah, I wonder what's going on. Those two are sure acting funny in there. Oh, I think Buddy's just homesick. He misses pickles. All right, so what's wrong with Rob? He misses me. Look, Laura, I could sleep in the porch. Oh, come on. <laughs> Gee, I sure hope my cat likes this. I promised him a nice present when I got home. Oh, Go I'm sure he's... probably your reflection. Rob, do I have a mustache? Just a honey, get a hold of yourself. All right, the face in the mirror had a mustache. Well, honey, it could have been your own hair. Look, when you turned around, maybe it was just like that. <laughs> well, maybe it was a... Ghost, ghost, that's what it was. His face was haunted, like they said. Who said a ghost haunted? Who said? Rob. Rob? Well, I didn't. He no. did. It isn't. It is. Well, I never well, said... Who? 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 Well, I didn't know the guy. Well, so what I, well, yeah, yeah, the guy told Rob that the, that the place is haunted. And he says that the guy got murdered here and he's coming back. He's going to get all of us. Who? Who? The, the ghost with the mustache. Oh, oh. Come on, Rob. Let's get out of here. Oh, no, wait a second. You don't believe in ghosts. Rob, I saw him. Honey, it was probably an hallucination. Yeah, hallucination. How about those lights in the other room? What lights? They kept going on and off. Well, that was a loose connection. Yeah, a loose connection in our heads for even being here. Let's get out of here. Oh, buddy, wait a minute. Oh, oh. Now, wait, everybody, just hold it. There's one thing I want to get straight before we go any further. This couch was open. <laughs> hey, uh, where's our bag? Somebody stole our bag. Oh, there they are. And they're all packed. Great, now let's get out of here. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, honey, 
I, all I know is that there's someone that wants us to leave here. Yeah, yeah, me, me. <laughs> oh, I'm with Buddy. This is getting to be like a bad horror movie. No one missing his bed, some price, the thunder and the lightning. Oh, Rob, I'm scared. Look, I, I agree that we should leave here, but let's not lose our heads now. All that's missing now is Vincent Price. The door's open. The door's open. Vincent? Well, there's nothing to worry about. There's nobody in there. Nobody not? That's something to worry about. Good, because I'm very worried. Look, I'm going to call for the Jeep. I don't believe in ghosts, but I do believe in fear. All you guys are completely scared to death. Hello. The phone's dead. It's dead. Pick up the receiver. Oh. Hello, Lodge. Lodge. Hello, please, Lodge. Hello. It's not it's really dead. Isn't it always? It must be the storm. Storm's probably knocked everything out. Listen, there's only one other thing we can do. Uh -huh. We're going to have to walk it. Walk, that's a good idea. All let's right. do that. Let's All right, do that. Let's walk. <laughs> announcement to make. What is it? Look, whoever you are, whatever you are, if you want us out of here, we'll go right after it stops raining. I promise. You're welcome. <laughs> Anybody asleep? You nuts. You can sleep. I am fast awake. My heart's beating so hard it's going to knock the covers off. Look, it's been over two hours now and nothing strange or unusual has happened. No. What do you call four grown people sleeping in the same bed with their clothes on? I call it absolutely ridiculous. Why don't we stop acting like children and... Look, nothing's going to happen to us. Why don't you girls go back in your own room? No. no! Now, wait a minute. Let's all just stay together. It's comfy like this. Let's stay together. Look, I'll admit, a lot of weird things are going on here, but I think that whoever or whatever it is doesn't want to... Let's get out of here now. Oh, buddy, pick up the rest. Let's get buddy, the pick up. Oh, buddy. Where's Buddy? <laughs> Maybe he went outside. Alone? You're right, not Buddy. <laughs> Maybe he's in the closet. It's locked. Or it was locked. Uh, I'll try it. <laughs> Stand back. It's still locked. I uh, guess I'll look in the bedroom. Not without us. Don't, Wait for me. Don't, don't push. Buddy. Buddy, are you in here? Buddy. Oh, maybe he's playing a joke on us. He's too scared to be funny, honey. They can be. 
I'll try it again. They got it. Honey, stand back. I'm going to really heave now. There's a lot on the outside here. Honey, give me a hairpin. So... Oh, no. Honey? Sally? Buddy? Mama? Buddy? Buddy? Who took them? Come on, where are they? All right. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you are, but I, I know you're in here. Where are you? Where'd you go? Hey, hey come on, where are you? Uh-oh. Nah! Hey, what? Well, hey, who are you? Hey, what do you want? What? Hey, where's my wife and my friends? Well, well, hey, don't just stand there. Well, well, where's my wife and my friends? Look, if you, if you bring my wife and my friends back, we'll leave. We'll, we'll leave in peace. Okay? Hey, well, hey, don't just stand there. Uh-oh. He's gone. What you... Scream! You're on sneaky camera! Hey, Mel! <laughs> Mel, you don't know what's happened. Buddy and Sally, Laura, all gone. This place is haunted, Mel. You know that? The fire started. That thing started rocking all by itself. What are you doing in a mirror? <laughs> I just told you you're on sneaky camera. What, sneaky camera? Alan Brady presents sneaky camera. What sneaky camera? Yeah. The show Alan told you to come up here and work on. Well, where, where's Sally and Buddy and Laura? Now, uh, don't worry, they're safe. They're right here with me. You mean you've been filming all this? <laughs> How do you like it? Come out of there, Mel. Rob, are you angry? Oh, I'm not angry, Mel. I'm insane! Oh, well, good! Good, good. Keep talking. We're still filming. Good, save oh, some film for the murder. <laughs> The only thing that bothers me, Mel, is you're not even ashamed that this is a direct steal from another show. Well, why be ashamed when we stole from one of the best? <laughs> you know, I, I can't wait to develop the film on Buddy. He was scared to death. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't scared. No, so how come you're still holding my hand? <laughs> Listen, stop thinking on Buddy. He had good reason to be scared. He has no courage. Yeah, keep going. Give him, give him some more. Well, at least when I got scared, I got hair to stand on end. Oh, buddy, now come on, be a good sport. After all, you were the biggest chicken of us all. You did some pretty good clucking there yourself. <laughs> Mel, I've got one question to ask. Mm -hmm. How did you do that thing with the fire? Do what? The, the fire that started all by itself. What fire? The fireplace. It started up all by itself. Buddy and I were standing here, and then we went off, and it came on again. Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys out in the car. Well, we didn't do anything. You mean there was a fire in that fireplace, and you weren't a part of it? No, we had nothing. Come on, now, how'd you rig the fire? As long as there's a possibility of driving him crazy, I'll never tell. <laughs>